Hi, I'm Martha Andres. We're here at the HEI Annual Conference 2022, and I'm speaking with one of our Jane Award, Jane Warren Award winners about her research. Wen Lu Ye, would you please tell us a little bit about your research? Sure. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Wen Lu, and I'm currently a postdoc at UC Berkeley. Um, and today I'm going to present my research, which is the um, effects of a liquefied petroleum gas stove intervention on gestational blood pressure uh, from the Household Air Pollution Intervention Network, the HAPPEN trial. Um, and so first, to give everyone a little bit of background, so there has been a lot of study on association between household air pollution exposure from solid fuels use and blood pressure in non-pregnant women. However, the evidence is not uh, not consistent for pregnant women, and that motivated us to conduct this analysis using the rich amount of data collected from the HAPPEN trial. And so the HAPPEN trial is a randomized controlled trial, um, and it's aimed at assessing uh, the effect of this LPG stove and, in, and fuel intervention in four different countries, Guatemala, uh, India, Peru, and Rwanda. So at the baseline, we recruit roughly 3,200 pregnant women uh, from all these four countries. And after completing the baseline health and exposure assessment, we randomized half of those um, to receive the intervention, which is a locally available LPG stove and a continued fuel supply throughout their pregnancy. Uh, and the other half service control will continue to use their biomass. And then we did two follow-up visits, post-randomization. And then at this, uh, both of these visits, we uh, measure their personal exposure to PM2.5, BC, and CO, and also their blood pressure. Um, and so this section shows you the baseline characteristics of our study population. And uh, I won't go into the details, but I just want to highlight that um, the baseline characteristics uh, were largely similar by study R between intervention and control. And also we found the majority of our participants had normal blood pressure. Um, and then the two figures um, here shows you uh, the blood pressure measurement and personal exposure measurement we did at all the three visits. Um, and so for the blood pressure, <coughs> you see the systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Um, They're quite similar between intervention and control R. Um, but for the personal exposure, uh, you can see this LPG stove and fuel intervention consistently reduced the post-randomization personal exposure to all these three pollutants. Especially for PM 2.5, you can see the median value is well below the WHO um, in term target one. And so for our intention to trade analysis, which is to assess the effect of this intervention on the change uh, of blood pressure from baseline to final visit, and uh, we can see the blood pressure in both study arms um, increased during the pregnancy. However, the, the increase in intervention arm uh, is a little bit more than the control arm. Um, and for our exposure response analysis, again, similar to the ITT analysis, we were looking at uh, the change of blood pressure from baseline to final, uh, final visit um, and how that associated with a uh, weighted average um, household air pollution to PM2.5, BC, and CO. And generally, trial-wide, we found both SBP or systolic blood pressure and the diastolic pressure were higher with increased time-weighted exposure to all the three pollutants. Um, and so generally, um, our conclusion is um, we did not see a protective effect of this intervention on gestational blood pressure. Um, however, we see some um, evidence of the exposure response with higher um, systolic and diastolic blood pressure through gestation with higher PM2.5, BC, and CO exposure. Um, and uh, we have a thorough discussion on the uh, potential explanations to this result. And it's uh, uh, in a manuscript recently accepted by hypertension. And also we have a lot of details on the secondary sensitivity and country-specific analysis results. They are all available online. So if you are interested in learning more details, um, go check it out online. Thank you.